when you are talking about going to the uh, fastest level of frequency, and you are talking about the eternal love, is there a connection be between that and immortality? Well, let's talk about immortality. Because from a hypothetical standpoint, you have a gene that's an immortal gene. You have immortality genes, but that gene has to be signaled. Cancer cells, many cancer cells, have a gene that almost appears as immortal. But they're under the wrong program, and they're doing their best to survive as well. But from a theoretical standpoint, there's an enzyme called telomerase that actually helps to lengthen telomeres. Lobsters have an enormously high amount of telomerase in their tissues. And lobsters can live for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years if they're not farmed. Telomeres are the little shoestrings on the end of your DNA. And there's a constant with a cell division called Hayflick's constant. And a cell divides roughly about 50 to 70 times and then it's done. And then all of a sudden, the cell stops producing healthy proteins and the body starts to age. And every time the cell divides, that little shoestring is divided down a little bit. So in time then, our genetic destiny, our genetic predisposition is determined biologically by the length of your telomeres. And when we did the study in our telomeres, we found out that 74% of the people that were participating in the study had some type of change within 60 days just by doing one meditation a day for five to seven days a week. As I said on Monday evening, 40% of them had a nice change, a, a good, solid, significant change, and about 22% had a dramatic change. So then they've lengthened their life in some way because telomeres tell you your biological age. Are you with me still? Now, one of the things that speeds up the, the loss of telomere length is cortisol and adrenaline because it wears down the cell and the cell starts to divide very quickly and the cell starts to downregulate and what happens is the tissues begin to break down. Proteins are no longer expressed properly. So if you think about it, <clears throat> if you're living in the present moment, truly in the present moment from a theoretical standpoint, you couldn't be aging. Think about it. If your energy was changed in some way and you were expressing through your fourth center instead of the centers of survival, you could technically live longer. Now, the 98.5% of your DNA that is unexpressed, untapped, that scientists call junk DNA, there's a lot of potential. That is a library of potential, a parts list of possibilities. And I believe that those particular sequences will not be activated by chemistry. Your cells are 100 to 200 times more sensitive to frequency than they are to chemistry, to electromagnetism. So what's going to signal the cell isn't going to be matter to matter. It's going to be energy to matter. So as the cell begins to pick up a signal, that signal potentially could unlock the gene for immortality. Are you with me still? So then as you climb up the scale, closer and closer to a greater expression of energy through your nervous system, then you should be able to perform feats that would transcend physical matter. You could heal another, yes or no? you could raise your own energy and, and literally change any condition or health condition in your body because as you vibrated those microtubules faster and faster, they would be emitting more coherent light and information. And now you would be more radiant light and less matter. Are you with me still? And it's that signal then, I think, that begins to signal the uh, gene for immortality. And there was a book I read uh, in 19... 89 or 1990 called The Life and Teachings of the Masters in the Far East. And um, that book kind of lit me up because it was about a group of scientists from the United States that went to the Himalayas to study the masters. And these guys were appearing and disappearing and they were, they were living for thousands of years and it was, blowing the, it was blowing the medical model to shreds. And from a theoretical and technical standpoint, you have that latent gene within you. 
You just have to be able to activate it. Now, forget immortality, but just think about extending your life just another 100 years, but not extending your life within 100 years and being sick for those 100 years. Extending your life for 100 years where you have enough vital energy that the cells are so coherent and so organized that you're not perceiving threats in your environment. What are you afraid of? <laughs> You've overcome fear. Well, you've overcome impatience and anger and frustration and hostility. You've overcome prejudice and separation. So you're closer to the unified field, and as a result of it, your body's expressing more light and information. Autonomic nervous system is processing a greater frequency. So from a theoretical standpoint, it's absolutely possible. And just to live another 100 years is absolutely possible. So when I did the math on certain people that lengthened their telomeres, by a good percentage, the 22%, just in 60 days, they got about 10 to 15 days of their life back. They extended their life for about 10 to 15 days. In other words, when I figured out, well, the average age is between 75 and 80 for most people, and I figured out how long the telomeres had lengthened, and I did the math, they had another uh, uh, 10 to 15 days uh, extended from their life. So imagine if you were doing that on a regular basis and you were committed to it, you could literally change your future, change your genetic destiny.